What's going on guys? It's your boy TG Jew here back with another awesome episode of the Geoverse. And in today's episode of the Geoverse, we are here with a crazy team battle. We have the team to the left, the legendary bladers versus the team to the right, the dark nebula. We even added bays like Earth Eagle and Rock Neon because they at one point were in the dark nebula. Even if they didn't want to join, even if they were doing it undercover, at the end of the day, they were still part of the organization, whether you like it or not. So we have this insane team battle. We have all the legendary bladers, including Blitz Striker. I had to add Blitz Striker. I feel like he deserves to be a legendary blader. We even have Diablo Nemesis. So yeah, we have all the legendary bladers and then we have all the bays that were ever in the Dark Nebula. The Legendary Bladers. The Dark Nebula. So these are going to be all the matchups. I definitely made them as fair as possible. And we have the model launchers, so they're going to be a lot more fair than you think. We have the Legendary Blader Big Bang Pegasus versus from Team Dark Nebula. We have Poison Serpent. Four these bays have the biggest advantage now that we're using the model launcher. Go shoot. I mean, obviously they still have an advantage with like weight and stuff, but the model launcher does wonders, guys. And you never know a Beyblade. I mean, come on now. But, I mean, yeah, if it's one thing about Beyblade, we all need to know, it's that, uh, oh, wow. Oh, ah! Destroyed. Is that anything can happen in Beyblade, but the legendary Blader starting it off with a W, which means it is a one to zero. We're gonna go ahead and leave the base that win to the side, and the base that lose, we're gonna take them off the camera. But, moving on to the next battle, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty fun one. This is gonna be a nice recoil battle. We have Blitz Tracker versus Rock Leon. Let the games begin. Go shoot! Three, two, one. Let him trip. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay. You won't escape this time. I'll finish this with one hit. Okay, as I start so far, and okay, as I start. And Blitz Striker with the knockout onto Rock Leon. Once again, the legendary bladers will be taking a point. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard for the Dark Nebula, but I really do hope that the Dark Nebula can at least take a few points. That'll be nice. But hey, moving on to the next battle, we have El Drago Destructor versus Earth Eagle. All right, let the games begin. Take this instead. Let it rip. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Uh what incredible power! What is that, Bay? Ah, El Drago Destructor! All right, all right, let's see. Huh? What now? The ultimate move! Dragon Emperor Life Destructor! Ah! We have El Drago Destructor. We have El. We have El. Drago Destructor taking that the nice knockout onto Earth Eagle, leaving it to a three to the legendary blade. Wow. The Dark Nebula is getting mopped right now, and honestly, they've already been through three of the strongest baiters in the Dark Nebula, so, I mean, uh, just imagine how the rest of the Dark Nebula is gonna be destroyed. But, who knows? You never know. Scythe Kronos versus Lightning El Drago. Now, Scythe Kronos is an absolutely amazing bait, but I do think Lightning El Drago can clutch this up. So, I had to see the Dark Nebula can get at least one point. It's up to Lightning El Drago. I think it's about time for me to end this. You're the one who'll kiss the pavement. Go shoot. Three, two, one. Go shoot. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Dark move. Dragon Emperor soaring by strike. Come on. Oh, and lightning will be taking the W, taking the first round for the Dark Nebula. Let's go, you can always count on Ryuga the Dragon Emperor. Looks like it is a 3 1. All right, so no matter what, at least the Dark Nebula took one point on the Legendary Bladers. If we can take one more, that'd be epic. But moving on to the next battle, we have Flash Sagittario for the Legendary Bladers versus Thermo Pisces for the Dark Nebula. All right, let's see who takes it. Go shoot. Go shoot. All right, all right, moment of truth. Moment of truth, come on. Oh, nice. Rise into the sky, Pisces. Oh man, I think Flash is about to destroy Pisces right now, but you never know. What if Pisces just knocks out Flash? Now, Sagittarius! That'd be nice. <gasps> no! All right, looks like Flash knocking out Pisces, leaving it to a four to one. Actually, you know what? Not gonna lie, I really want at least one more win. Two wins would be nice. All right, moving on to the next battle, we have Phantom Orion. Check it out, we got Phantom Orion versus Rock or or shall I say Drip or look at that. Bling, bling. And the bling, blimp. Go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Orso, bear claw slash. Oh, and the instant 
knockout from Rock Orso onto Phantom Orion. Let's go. Looks like two points for the Dark Nebula. Wow, I was not expecting that from Dark Orso. Man, I swear Dark Orso is underrated. What an insane bay. Moving on to the next battle, ladies and gentlemen, we have very Aries. Check it out. That's right. We got one of the only very Aries, the dual spinning bay versus Evil Gemios. The reason why I did this battle is because very Aries has a left spinning and a right spinning, and then Gemios has a uh, ice side and a fire side. It's two sides. Both bays have two abilities in the show, so I thought it'd be pretty cool, you know? Go shoot. Go shoot. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Stream of flame and a breath of ice. Special move. All right, let's do it. Gemios down burst. Very Come on, Jemio, so far. Finish it! Special move! King of Thunder Sword! Wow, Jemio's is doing great. Oh no, getting knocked out from very areas. All right, all right, it happens, it happens. All right, sweet. So next up, we have Libra versus Death Kutakoto. Actually, I think Libra can win this. Three, two, one! Let it rip! Oh shoot! Go shoot! All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be the best matchup for uh, Death Coast Dakota, Flame Hero versus Death Coast Dakota. I thought it was gonna be perfect. And they also fought in the show, so that's what really like made me wanted to do it. And honestly, Libra can win this. If Libra doesn't get uppercut it too much, then I think Libra can definitely win it, honestly. I'm pretty sure I've seen Libra win this battle before. That's why I was really confident. And you know what? Dark Nebula can get three points, which is just crazy. Come on. Come on, we still have like three more battles to go. Imagine Dark Nebula gets four. Ooh. But come on, Libra. Easy wins. Easy wins. Yeah, Libra was the best matchup for Death Coast Dakota, honestly. Wow. All right, sweet. So Libra will be taking it, leaving it to three Dark Nebula and five the Legendary Bladers. Nice. Boom. Just like that. All right, sweet. I thought this was going to be the best matchup. I thought it'd be pretty interesting. And also, hey, why not? You know, the leader of the Dark Nebula versus, you know, the most evil Blader in the Legendary Blader. So, hey, let the games begin. Go shoot. Go shoot. Special move, Armageddon! <laughs> oh, all right. Destroyed. Destroyed. I mean, what do we expect? Come on now. Diablo Nemesis is not going to get embarrassed like that. All right, sweet. Another point for the legendary baiters. Moving on to the next battle, we have J Jupiter versus Dark Gasher. Uh, crab, crabby, crab, crab. Go shoot. Go shoot! It's the modern launcher, guys. I'm telling you, the modern launcher makes defense base. Jupiter satellite moves. To attack base. It's crazy. It's crazy. Wow, this launcher is nuts. I remember this crab. I'll become even stronger and get my revenge. Mark my shell. All right, looks like J Jupiter will be taking it. But to be fair, it does make it so Metal Fusion Base can compete with 4D Base, which makes it pretty cool. But hey, J Jupiter taking it for the legendary bladers. Moving on to the last battle. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Fanglion versus Storm Capricorn. So, you know what? We'll make an exception. I'm gonna do a battle on attack mode and jump mode. Three, two, one! Let it rip! Yeah. Go shoot! Go shoot! Not quite, buddy! Amazing! Alright, we are gonna be on jump. Alright, just just never mind. That was embarrassing. Alright, jump mode not standing a chance at all. Moving on to attack mode. Go shoot! Go shoot! Forget it! This is the end! Oh, and Leon will be taking that W, knocking out Capricorn once again. And, hey, we all expected the legendary bladers to do that well. And I know a lot of you guys just wanted to see the Dark Nebula get destroyed. But to be fair, we got three W's for the Dark Nebula. So, hey, this actually turned out pretty well. But, hey, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any crazy video ideas, any unboxing suggestions, or any battle requests. But, hey, let's get to the bonus round request. Hey, shout out to my brother Blaze for this absolutely sick bonus round request. All right, guys, for this bonus round of quest, Blaze wants to see Death Quetzalcoatl on defense mode versus El Drago Destroy on attack mode. 
If you guys enjoy these videos and you want to support me, your boy TGGO, then make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and click on so you're notified every time we upload a daily video and you don't have to miss out on content like this. If you don't want to miss out on content, I also highly recommend you guys check out my other socials. They will all be in that link in the description below. Let the bonus round begin. So I always get asked where I get my Beyblades from, and I have a solution for you guys. So if you click any one of our videos, go to the description below, click the link tree. You'll be taken to a page with all of our socials. One of our socials is Bay Station. We recently partnered up with this Bay shop. It is absolutely amazing. We have Beyblades from Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury. We have Burst Beyblades. We have String Launchers and Attachments. Our loaders will be shipped on the same business day, so that means your product will be delivered to your front doorstep very quickly. We have one of the best return policies out there. You have up to 60 days, that's two months, to decide whether or not you want to return your product. Maybe you didn't like the product. Maybe you wanted another Beyblade instead of that one. Maybe you weren't satisfied but guess what you can go ahead and return it and the best part about it is that we will be paying for the shipping of returns we guarantee you 100 of your money back within those 60 days i'm actually going to be ordering storm pegasus and lightning no drago both of these bays are insane we have rivals right here both bays come with string launchers so we're going to test the quality on the bays and the string launchers once you guys are at the checkout you'll be taken to this page where you can put my discount code my discount code is the geoverse remember use code the geoverse for a discount on bay Station. Base Station is only available in the USA. Send me a picture of you using my code on Instagram or Discord, and I will give you a free Discord roll. Go shoot!